In this tutorial, I'll show you how to change the image source of a texture dynamically at runtime. Blend for Web provides an example code snippet, which I will go through in detail in the next tutorial with the release of version 17.08 of Blend for Web. The replace image function was added to the textures module and the old change image function is now considered deprecated. In the Blend for Web API reference they give example code showing how to use the new function. The new function links an HTML image object to a blender texture so that when the source image for the image object changes the textures source image will change as well. At the W3Schools website they give an example of dynamically changing an image object's source property. In this line, the source is changed to a different file and when I click the button, the image changes. Next, I'm going to set up a 3D scene where the texture changes using this code. In Blender, change Blender Render to Blend for Web and click Set Recommended Options. I'm going to map an image file to a mesh plane, drag on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window and make the new window a UV image editor window. Click the open image button, go to the folder where you have your image files, select the first one and open. I'm zooming back with the mouse wheel. In the 3D view window, change the view to the top view, go into edit mode, in the mesh menu, UV unwrap, project from view bounds. We've created UV map coordinates, but because the ratio of the width to the height for the image is different to the plane, when we map the image to the plane, the image will be squashed. Clicking the plus to open up the properties panel. Here are the dimensions of the image in pixels and the UV coordinates have the same ratio. Clicking object properties, I'm going to put the UV coordinates in for the X scale and Y scale of the plane, 0.648 and putting the point in front, 0.432. Drag on the white diagonal lines to close the UV image editor window. Go back into object mode. The plane is a bit small. Press S to scale, 4 and enter. In the view menu, align view, align active camera to view and zoom in with the mouse wheel. We cannot see the image because we have not set up a material and a texture. Click the Material Properties, click the New Material button, click the Texture Properties, click the New Texture button. We want type Image or Movie. Scroll down, click the Browse Image button and select the Roam Image. This side of the plane is picking up a highlight from the lamp. To reduce the reflection in the Material Properties, Reduce the specular intensity, giving the texture a matte finish. Alternatively, if you want the pixels in the image to be unaffected by the lighting in the scene, click Shadeless. The Blender file is ready. Next, I'm going to set up a Blend for Web project. Click the Render Properties and click Project Manager. Click Hide Stock Projects and Create New Project. I'm going to call the project My Roam Project. Scroll down and click Create Project. 
Wait till you see project created, then click back to projects. Normally at this point, I would overwrite the dummy blender file. But before I do that, I'm going to copy the images into the project folder. Copy, blend for web folder, projects, my Rome project, and into the assets folder, right click and paste. Now, back in Blender, I'm going to overwrite the dummy Blender file. Save as Blend for Web folder, Projects, My Rome project, Blender. Click on the dummy file and click Save as to overwrite it. Before I export the scene in the JSON format, there's an important thing I must do in the texture properties. I didn't pack the image file into the Blender file. When the project is uploaded to a server, the image file will not be found at this path. So we must change the source to the image that is inside the project folder, projects, my Roman project, assets, Rome 1. Now we can export the scene in the JSON format. Back in Project Manager, click the edit link and the link for the JavaScript file. In the Blend for Web API reference, highlight the modules used, right click and copy. Click, right click and paste. Highlight the rest of the code. Right click and copy. Scroll to the end to where it says place your code here. Right click and paste. The cube in the blender scene was replaced by a plane. So I need to change the name of the object to plane. The texture in the Blender file was called texture, so I don't need to change that. The dot means relative to the current directory. The current directory is the folder where the HTML file is stored. Relative to that, the replacement image is in the Assets folder. The replacement file is Rome2.jpg. If the file name or the extension are incorrect, it won't work and there will be no error message in the web console. Scrolling down, click Save and go back to Project Manager. Clicking the link for the HTML page, the Rome 2 picture replaces the Rome 1, but it happens so quickly it's difficult to see. So I've put the change of image source inside a JavaScript set timeout function, which delays the change by 2000 milliseconds or 2 seconds. Now the image changes after 2 seconds. In this version, I've set up a loop that will continuously display these three images, making a simple slideshow. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the files used in the tutorial for you to download at my website. To visit my website, click the eye icon in the top right hand corner. If you'd like to subscribe, click the stickman if you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the Patron link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.